Capro Sucus is an unreleased mod that is soon set to release into Path of Titans. Now, while I'm making this video, there is no ETA on when this will release. However, I've been asked kindly by Phalong to cover it as some kind of early showcase to you guys to showcase what this mod is all about. So let's talk about it. This is Capro Sucus and is a little tiny crocodile that's here to mean business. This is the male Capro Sucus and this is the female. On the default skin, the coloration does not change. Now let's showcase the subspecies. You've got Sahirocus, which is plus 10% stamina recovery. Insignus, which is plus 5% armor, which gets a lot blunter of a snout, which is pretty nice compared to the more boar croc style that Sahirocus is. And then you've got Absolutus, which is plus 3% attack damage. And I like this one the most. It's definitely my favorite one. And then you go back to Sahiracus there. So there are a lot of skins that this mod has. So you've got the default skin with its patterns right here. Then you get the cell skin. Cuba, Covia, I don't know how to say that. Cuban, which is based off the Cuban crocodile. Primal. Coarse Hide, which is my favorite one. I absolutely love, by the way. I love Pattern 3 with the white markings along where, like, the, the snout is. It's really nice. Then you got Dwarf. A really beautiful and well-made skin. It feels like an official skin. Then you've got the Albino. The Melanistic. The Western. Another beautiful skin on this mod. And then the Tegu, obviously based off the Tegu. Then you've got Natareri, which as you could tell by the icon cover, they haven't updated the skin icons just yet. So as you can see, this is unreleased. I just want to clarify that this is not released just yet, as I said in the intro. Then you've got Pariah, another beautiful skin. Hog Rider, <laughs> I love that. Snokia. And finally, Monitor, which is a beautiful blue skin. This is the Juvenile Capro Sucus, and this thing is absolutely teeny tiny. It comes with a standard bite attack. However, it also just... Oh my god, this thing is tiny, and I, I, I love the way it kind of feels like a pancake when it walks a little bit. But it also gallops as well like how they depict this thing you get seven emotes pretty much you technically get eight if you include the friendly call that's the invite to group let's give it a listen And that is the baby Capro Sucus' sounds and the animations, and also it can jump. I just want to make that clear. And what is it like in the water? Well, in the water, it's actually really quick, and that's as a baby as well. The movement in the water is really smooth. It moves around very nicely. I've got to say, really, really nice in the water, really mobile, and it's overall really nice as a baby in the water. A nice little teeny tiny croc, but of course, let's showcase it off as an adult. So, as far as abilities go, this thing has a lot. However, the max customization for this is quite minimal because you can at most get about five different abilities on your attack bar or your keybinds as possible. So, this is what you get. Over here, you get these two abilities, which are kind of like sensors, but kind of not. You've got Geologist and you've got Biologist. Geologist increases jump height by 25%, trot speed by 15% and reduces first depletion by 40%. Biologist increases acceleration when swimming by 50%, increases visibility when underwater, increases max oxygen by 25% and grants the ability to feed on mushrooms. Then we go to the head based attacks. There are five options here. 
and you can only choose two of them at a time. So do bear that in mind. The first one is Sharp Tusks, which allows you to take 20% reduced damage from hits to your head and increases your damage by 5%. So this is like the face tanker ability that Rex get. Next, you've got Dual Chop, a double attack that increases in power with each hit. Kind of like the Raptor Strikes ability that the Raptors have. Next, you have Armor Crusher, which is a charge up attack that inflicts armor piercing damage based on how long it is held. They've got Tearing Force, which is an attack that causes causes moderate damage and reduces enemy armor by 5% for 7 seconds. Can stack up to 5 times, can be used while grabbing prey. And then the bite that causes medium damage. Then for your sensors you get two. You've got Crocodilian Cacophony and you've got Gang's Plank. For Crocodile Cacophony this essentially increases self and team's armor by 1.5% for 25 seconds every time you hit by an attack. Stacks up to 10 times. And for Gang's Plank, it increases self and team's damage by 1% for air 20 seconds every time you hit by an attack as well. So this one kind of works in two separate ways. If you get hit, it increases your armor. And if you get hit, it increases your damage output and that's the differences there and then we move into front limb you first get webbed feet which increases swim speed and swim turning radius by 15 percent and then you get firm grip which increases turning radius by five percent after that we move into the metabolisms you've got bottom feeder that allows you to eat shellfish bones and fish you've got hyper carnivore that only allows you to eat meat and bones and then you have generalist which allows you to eat fruit meat insects and fish for the hide you get sun drought scales midnight creeper and streamlined streamlined increases swimming speed by 15 percent midnight creeper increases speed by 10 percent and health recovery by 15 percent during the night and then sun drought scales increases armor by 10 percent and stamina recovery by 15 percent during the day for the legs you get leap and webbed boost webbed boost increases mobility and maneuverability by 15 percent when you are wet leap increases jump height and reduces stamina spent when jumping and then we move into back limb you've got leaping bite which leaps forward dealing minor armor piercing damage upon a successful activation you can grab your opponent and this can only be used while on land while moving then you've got croc rush which is a charge forward in a line causing damage to anything you hit restores stamina on hit can be used on land then we go into tail you've got breach and you've got lunge lunge is a quick boost forward Forward, and this can be used while swimming it basically grants 15% damage buff for four seconds as well can be chained with attacks and you've got breach which is a dash forward in order to escape or ambush deals impact damage and moderate knockback but can't be used with other attacks can be used only while diving and then finally you get two voice abilities you've got coming aboard and finest hour finest hour increases your speed by two percent per use able to stack up to five times and coming aboard is a call during the day increases all party members armor by 10 percent within 30 meters for one minute during the night increases all party members damage by 10 percent with 30 meters for one minute you must be on land to do this and that's really cool that it does different things depending on the time of day so that's a really really neat idea there now let's showcase all these attacks and abilities shall we so this is your bite this is your tearing bite then you have your croc rush which is nice and speedy and you know what that lasts actually quite a nice amount of time then this is coming aboard during the day And as you can see, you get the buff there. And then in the water, this is the lunge forward. Very nice and quick lunge forward, good. And this thing is still remarkably good in the water as well. So this is the coming aboard ability during the night. And it's the same pretty much. It's got the same um, showcase of it. And it looks like, however, the actual icon that pops up you've got them both here is different so the the first one looks kind of like anodontosaurus's hunker down and the other one looks like kentrosaurus's death row and that's the difference there so for your other abilities you have armor crusher which is a charge up bite attack so you hold that as long as you want the longer you hold it the more armor piercing damage it does and then you've got dual chop which is really nice then you have the leaping bite which is a running based attack and then this one is finest hour which is the vocal ability and 
got a 20 second cooldown there uh, and you can actually stack this quite nicely by the looks of it you can just keep on doing it over and over again which can be quite strong that being said in the water you do have a lunge attack as well which is a lunge forward right there and as you can see you get the status effect for increased attack damage so these are the adult calls for caprosuchus let me know what you think about it so far And there we have it everybody, that is the Caprosuchus, a brand new mod that is set to release in Path of Titans. Now, do bear in mind that this mod is not released just yet. There are no ETAs on when this will release, so do not take this video as a case of this mod is now out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And if you want to check out another video and want to see some upcoming content that's coming for the game, I recommend this one where I talked about a brand new Dino Kiris emote that was showcased. Now, I do want to say, if my speech was a little funny today, it's because this video was filmed two days after I got my wisdom tooth removed. Yes, I'm still on the grind and I should be relaxing. However, there is no stream tonight, so I wanted to showcase this to you all. There should hopefully be a stream on Tuesday. We'll see how I feel. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace. <laughs>